Good morning, boys and girls. It's the Grinch and his dog, Max. Just kidding. It's your teacher, but it's holiday day. And I, of course, Gussie, had to wear my Grinch onesie and show you my dog because I think he looks just like Max. Not just like him, but they're the same color at least, and they're both dogs. So, hello, welcome to holiday day of our virtual learning. I hope you are having a great day. Sorry our video's coming out a little bit later. I was having some internet troubles this morning, but luckily Christian came home, he kind of fixed it. We're up and running for now. So, I'm so glad you're here with me today. I hope you're joining me in some holiday gear. I chose Christmas. Maybe you chose St. Patrick's Day or Easter or Valentine's Day. Really, anything works. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Here we go. March 31st, 2020. Good morning. Today is Tuesday. Are you standing on the chair? Get down now. It will be a great day. I can and I will. Love, Mrs. Forrester. Before we do anything, I see something wrong with my morning message. I forgot to put something. Do you see it? It will be a great day. What am I missing right here? I'm missing a period or an exclamation point. Let's do an exclamation point. I cannot believe that I forgot my punctuation mark. Oh, well, it happened. Thanks for fixing it with me. All right, did you notice that our morning message was a little bit different today? We have three new words, our next set of fourth quarter sight words. One of them is this word. Do you know what this word is? It's now. Everybody say now. Everybody spell it. N-O-W, now. Get down now. Bring me that now. When someone wants you to do it super, super quick, they're gonna say now. Do you see now on my board? Me too, there it is, now. In my sentence today, I say, get down now, because I ask you, are you standing on that chair? And you must be, because I say, get down now. What's this word? This word is down, everybody say it. Everybody spell it, oops, D-O-W-N down 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 not up but down do you see down on the board you're right here it is down all right last one guess i have to show it to you is this word we talked about this word a little bit you're right this word is get everybody what's this word everybody spell it g E T get. Remember when we talked about the I T word family, and G I T was on the board, and we were like, "That's a real word." Get, get down, get that paper. And I was like, "No, get has an E." Well, now it's a sight word, so we'll never forget it. Can you spell it one more time for me? G E T get. All righty, let's review all of our words. Oh. I better, I better circle that. I was so excited to remember G-I-T and G-E-T that I forgot to circle it. Here it is. Get. Are you standing on that chair? Get down now. All right, here we go. Let's review all of them. Well, all of the fourth quarter words. Ready, ears on. Jump, jump, J-U-M-P, jump. She, she, S H E, she, will, will, W I L L, will, find, find, F I N D, find, little, little, L I T T L E, little. Little eat, eat, e a t, eat. <gasps> That's not a sight word. <laughs> Sorry, friends. Now, 
now. N O W. Now. Down. Down. D O W N. Down. Get. Get. G E T. Get. Ears off. Sorry about that. I felt like my my stack of flashcards were a little thick, but I don't know. My punctuation marks just got mixed up in it when I cleaned up yesterday. What's this guy called? You're right, it's an exclamation point. Can you say exclamation point? Good, you helped me write an exclamation point this morning, right here. There it is. Do you see any more? Yeah, I said get down now. I'm worried you're gonna fall, get down now. And then do you see one more? Me too, down here. I can and I will. Yes, friends. All right, I think I got them all. You let me know if I didn't. What's this one called? You're right, it's a question mark. Can you say question mark? Question mark. Did I ask you a question today? I sure did. I said, are you standing on the chair? What? You're standing on the chair? I asked you that. All righty. Only one question today. Last one, maybe. Oh, yep, there it is. What's this guy called? You're right. It's a period. Can you say period? Good. Do you see my one period up there today? Yep, there he is, right after Tuesday. Today's Tuesday. I'm just letting you know it's Tuesday. All righty. Today is our last day of March. Last day of March. That means that tomorrow, yeah, tomorrow, will be a new month. Can you think of what the new month might be? It will be April. April. Tomorrow will be April 1st. Now, I know some of you have birthdays in April, and I'm gonna do my best to try to make sure we celebrate them. We celebrated all the March birthdays when we were at school um, a couple Mondays ago, so I'll make sure that we give you a shout out, I give you a wave, because we gotta celebrate your birthday even while you're at home, right? That's important. All right, so tomorrow will be our first day of April. But for now, how many days have we been at home? Yesterday, we finally made this. What did we make? You're right, we made a bundle. Can you say bundle? How many straws or pencils, since we're at home, are in a bundle? How many pencils are in a bundle? Do you remember? You're right, 10. And all 10 in one bundle go in the, in the tens bucket, good. So what bucket is this? The ones, and what bucket is this? the hundreds. So if yesterday was day 10, that means that today is day, you're right, it is day 11. Where am I going to put my single orange pencil? He doesn't want to be alone. So can I put him in here? I can't? Well, but, but he, but, okay, then he's going to be the big guy on campus and he's going to go into the hundreds bucket. No, he can't go there either. <gasps> Where does he have to go? The ones bucket? This one right here? Are you sure he can't go in here? He's got to go in here. All right, he'll go into the ones bucket. So we have 10, or we have one bundle of 10, and we have one single straw making the number 11. Good work. I won't be able to put my cups together anymore. That's okay. Alrighty, let's go ahead and review our sounds. Ready, ears on. Z, za, zebra. R, er, rat. W, uh, wind. Q, I'm sorry, Q, 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 queen. V, va, fan. P, pa, pan. T, ta, top. In nut. S snake. F -a fun. K ka kite. D -da dog. 
J, J, Jug. G, G, Game. L, L, Lamp. H, H, Hat. M, M, Man. B, B, Bat. A, A, Apple. C, C, Cat. E, A, Ed. Y, Y, Yellow. O, A, Octopus. U, A, Up. I, I, Itch. <clears throat> X, X, Box. Good job. Okay. Oops. Now, for our last thing today, I feel like this has gone by so fast today. Our last thing, we are going to read this book called Biggest, Strongest Baptist. It's by Steve Jen Jenkins. Jen Jenkins. <laughs> what did Steve do if this story is by him? You're right, he wrote the words. What do we call the person who wrote the words? You're right, he's called the author. Okay, all right, let's go ahead and get started. Biggest, strongest, fastest. Animals live all around us. They crawl, walk, run, hop, swim, and fly. Some, some animals are too small to see without a microscope. A microscope is a machine that helps you see really tiny things. Others, like a blue whale, are bigger than a house. There are animals that move as fast as a car and animals that would need half an hour to cross a room. Here are some of the biggest and smallest, fastest and slowest, strongest and longest animals. They are the record holders of the animal world. What is this animal? Can you tell? You're right, it's an elephant. The African elephant let me move so you can really see it, is the biggest land animal. It says the largest elephant ever was measured more than 13 feet tall and weighed 22,000 pounds. An African elephant eats over 300 pounds of grass or leaves every day. That's a lot of food. The strongest animals for its size is the ant. So it's not saying that the ant is the strongest animal, it's just saying for its size, since it's so small, he's the strongest. An ant can carry five times its own weight. A strong, Mary, a strong man can carry something that weighs about as much as he does. So if you can see in my picture, this ant is carrying five other ants because it's showing you that he can carry five times his weight where a man, a person, could carry something that weighs about the same as he could. <clears throat> the tallest animal is the giraffe. Male giraffes grow as tall as 19 feet, 19 feet. The females are a little shorter. With their great height and long, flexible necks, giraffes can eat leaves that are that other grazing animals cannot reach. So they can reach the ones real up tall, real up high. The blue whale, oh, I love whales, is the biggest animal that has ever lived. Did you see that? Here it is on one page, and then his tail is on the other page. <clears throat> it says, a blue whale can grow to be 110 feet long and weigh over 168 tons, as much as 20 elephants. Even the biggest dinosaur was smaller than a blue whale. This guy is humongous. Humongous, he's giant. Look at this, do you see it? He's in a spoon. It says the 
Etruscan's shrew, the world's smallest ant mammal, could sleep in a teaspoon. From the tip of its nose to the end of its tail, this shrew is only two and a half inches long. It weighs about as much as a ping pong ball. You know, those white, really light balls that are like, they're like this big. That's how much he weighs. It's kind of cute. The smallest bird is the bee hummingbird. The bee hummingbird is an acrobatic flyer that is only three inches long and weighs one and one, it weighs one thirtieth of an ounce, less than a dime. So think about a dime, one of the small coins in our money. He weighs less than a dime. That's crazy. Look, and then here, as a hand, and then here's the hummingbird in relation to a hand. This book's pretty cool. The sun jellyfish is the world's longest animal. Look at that. The sun jellyfish have tentacles over 200 feet long. They drag these poisonous filaments through the water to stun fish, which they then catch and eat. So you can't, let me get real close. There's a human, and then that's how long the jellyfish is. And he uses these to stun fish so that he can eat them. That's crazy. The largest kind of spider is the bird spider. Oh my goodness. <sighs> this page gives me the heebie-jeebies. Okay. What do you think that they eat if it's called a bird spider? Mm, probably a bird. It says the bird spider measures, me measures, measures almost a foot across and has a poisonous bite. <sighs> it spins a very strong web to track the birds and large insects it eats. <sighs> we gotta go. We gotta get off of this page. <sighs> the cheetah can run faster than any other animal. It says a cheetah can reach speeds of over 60 miles an hour, but only for a few hundred feet. When it chases another fast animal, such as an antelope, the cheetah must catch it quickly. So he can't run very fast for very long, but he can still run fast. Ooh. Look at this thing. So the electric eel gives the, gives the strongest shock of any animal. An electric eel can give a shock of up to 650 volts, over five times the voltage needed to light a standard household light bulb. That is enough electricity to give a serious shock to a horse, or another large animal. So he is very strong. His, the, his shock is very, very strong. It said that um, it's five times what you need to make a regular light bulb turn on. Oh, look at this guy. The sand snail is one of the slowest animals. I went into slow-mo there. Some snails can move only eight inches in a minute. Oh my goodness. At that speed, the snail would need five and a half days to travel one mile. What? One mile is not very long. It's kind of long, but could you imagine taking five days to go one mile? <sighs> Fortunately, the snail with its hard shell does not need to travel or run away from danger. That's good because he probably wouldn't make it. There are many kinds of large snakes, but the anaconda is the biggest. <laughs> I don't really like snakes either. Snakes and spiders, those are my weaknesses. Weaknesses. Anacondas can grow to be over 25 feet long and weigh 400 pounds. Whew. 
they wait in trees and drop onto their prey. A hungry anaconda can swallow a whole deer or a goat. No thanks. Bye, anaconda page. The flea is very small, but it's the world's bit best jumper. The flea is only 1 16th of an inch tall, but it can jump a whole eight inches into the air. That is about 130 times its own height. If a five and a half foot tall woman could jump as well as a flea, she could leap to the top of a 65 story building. So I'm about five and a half feet tall, five and a quarter. But imagine if I could jump like a flea. I could jump all the way up to a really tall building with 65 floors. That'd be pretty crazy. Ooh, look at this guy. It says the Galapagos tortoise lives longer than any other animal. Galapagos tortoises can live to be over 150 years old, about twice as long as the average person can expect to live. So he can be real old. All right, and that was the last page. Thank you so much for joining me for holiday day for reading a book with me. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, tomorrow, we will be doing a Zoom classroom meeting. Um, so I want you to think about how when we would sit in a circle at the carpet after Christmas break or when we've done something exciting so that we can share one at a time about what's been happening. So that's kind of what we'll be doing tomorrow. It'll be at one o'clock. So if you have a clock in your house, Right now, it's 9, 10. So tomorrow at, hold on, let me get there, 1 o'clock. So when the big hand is facing the 12 and the short hand is on the 1, at 1 o'clock, we will be doing a Zoom meeting. So you'll get to see your classmates. You'll get to see me. We're going to talk about what we've been doing at home, how we're feeling, what we miss, what we're enjoying, anything you want to share. Um, we'll share for a couple minutes each and then I'll read a story to end our time together. So I'm thinking that we do this once a week. I think it'll be a lot of fun. So I hope you join me tomorrow at one o'clock and I will remind you, but remember one o'clock tomorrow. Okay, not today, tomorrow. All right, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a great day. Gus! Come say bye. Come here, Gus. We're going to sign off here. Oh, where are you going? All right. Bye, friends. Have a great day. Oh, I can't find my mouse. There it is.